Our top story this afternoon, South Korea recorded its highest number of daily COVID-19 cases so far, close to 8,000. Before Saturday's figure, the highest was 909 in late February. Our Chang Taehyun is on the line to give us more details. Taehyun, tell us more. Hi there. So South Korea saw 950 cases on Saturday. The country recorded the highest number of daily COVID-19 cases since the first case was reported on January 20th. The daily number was around 100 in early November, but now it's close to 1,000. Looking at Saturday's caseload, 928 are local and 22 from overseas. 669 cases came from the surrounding provinces of Seoul. 59 people were confirmed at a church in Gangseogu, Seoul, and 61 people tested positive at a nursing hospital in Butcheon, Gyeonggi-do province. In the capital region, cases are arising at restaurants, singing rooms, saunas, medical facilities, and small meetings. Right, and how is the South Korean government planning to deal with the worsening situation? This so-called third wave is more serious than the outbreaks at Daegu in February and the capital region in August. And the problem now is that there are asymptomatic patients all across the capital region. To deal with the outbreak, the South Korean government will install temporary health clinics all over the capital region so that anyone can get tested, even those without symptoms. This will start next Monday and last for three weeks. At these new testing centers, people can get tested anonymously. The government is also planning to add 1,000 beds to centrally run public hospitals. For now, there are 210 critical care beds available nationwide, and the government aims to increase this number to 331 by the end of this year. That's all I've got for now. Back to you.